Hello folks, uh, VA3 TKO, uh, Handle Bob here. thought I'd do a short video on interfacing a Kenwood TS480 HF rig with a Windows 10 computer. Now, I tried researching this on the internet and there's not much information out there on uh, how to actually do this. Many of the uh, videos that you do see just shows the end result of the radio working with the PC. I'll show you what I, I did. I went online and uh, searched for an interface cable and I came up with uh, one that I found on eBay. And this is it. So onto eBay I found this programming cable, this interface cable, which uh, says it has an FTDI chip. And from uh, what I read in the write-up, it works quite easily with the uh, Kenwood TS480 radio. Um, that cable I found worked very, very well, and it included some setup instructions. So, of course, we begin with the Kenwood TS480 SAT, or the HX version of the uh, radio itself. Now, the easy part is just basically... Plug it into your radio using the 9-pin female connector here on the front of your radio. And of course, plug it into your computer. You will need to download the Kenwood radio program known as ARCP480 for your uh, Kenwood S SAT or HX radio. Uh, you'll notice this is a free software download from the Kenwood radio uh, site. So download that. Of course, it has some restrictions as to what uh, Windows computers it will work on. My computer is a Windows 10, a uh, fairly new one, and it works flawlessly. Now, there is a bit of setup to do. I'll show you. Now there are various ways of getting there, but the first thing you want to do is open your device manager through your control panel. Okay, so after you've accessed your device manager in your Windows program, you're going to look for ports. So there we are, ports. It says COM and LPT. Underneath you see USB serial port COM1. You're going to double click on that USB serial port 1, COM, COM1, and you're going to come up with a screen that looks like this. Now these are the settings you're going to want to use. 9600 bits per second, 8 data bits, uh, parity none, stop bits 1, flow control none. This is what was recommended. I'm no computer whiz, but that's the way I set mine up. I followed the directions and it worked. Now, if you click on the advanced, this is where you can change your port. Your port may have said something different than COM port 1. So I had to change mine. Mine was actually, I think, 4. I changed it to COM port 1. I clicked OK. I got out of the program. Went into my Kenwood. TS-480 radio control program here and uh, did a little bit of messing around here. I'll show you. I got everything plugged in between the radio and the computer and first thing I did is I went to control up here. You'll see where my, my arrow is, my cursor. I went to setup. In the setup section, I set the COM port here to one. That was it. Set it to one. Clicked on OK at the bottom. You notice it says 9600 bits per second here. Clicked on OK. I powered on the unit. And voila. There it was. Up and running. Now what you'll find with the, the Kenwood software here is it's really quite uh, unique 
um, you're able to delve into many of the settings on the radio at a glance. Anyway, I won't bore you with all the features, but it's something that you'll want to get used to. Um, I've only had it up and running for probably the last couple days, and I've, I've kind of enjoyed it. Um, you can run this particular software remotely through another program, and it's known as ARHP-10. Again, that's available from Kenwood uh, for free as a download. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the, uh, the short video. I'm certainly not an expert at this, but uh, I thought I'd share it, and uh, hopefully somebody can uh, use it to their advantage. So it's VA3TKO, Bob from Eastern Ontario, Canada, 7-3.